Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to day three of 31 Days of Halloween. Today we are talking about No One Will Save You, a 2023 horror movie starring Caitlin Dever as a character named Bryn. And when I say she's the only character you really need to worry about in this one, I absolutely mean it. Let's get into the review. No One Will Save You revolves around the main character, Bryn. Bryn is a recluse, a hermit, a shut-in, whatever you want to call it, that lives in a very large, uh, I, I don't know if it's a period home or, or what, but it's a, it's a large estate, and she's there by herself. Um, and then there's aliens. And that is the entire setup, that is the entire movie, uh, other than the fact that Bryn has some some trauma that she has not worked out uh, dealing with a friend of hers, a childhood friend, and this movie hit me in the gut hard. Uh, but before I go into why, I want to mention something that everyone else is going to be talking about too. There is almost no dialogue in this movie. When I say almost none, there is two lines spoken. One character says it, and then the other character repeats it. Uh, and that's the only dialogue in the entire movie. Uh, it took me about 20, 30 minutes into the movie to actually figure out what was going on and that this was going to be it. I read an article from uh, with an interview with the director that said that he, he was writing the script and he'd gotten so far into the script, he realized that no one had talked yet, that, that Bryn hadn't spoken yet, and he decided, let's make this a thing. It is a unique premise, and it 100% works here. It's, uh, it, it, it's, I, I don't know, I, I'm, I'm shocked and I'm stunned. In fact, it works so well. My only criticism about this movie, period, my only one, is that I actually think that the two lines of dialogue that are spoken in the movie take away from the movie. I have never said that before ever, not in, not with books, not while, not while reviewing books, not while reviewing movies, none of that stuff. I consider dialogue the grease that lets the wheels keep spinning. Uh, anytime you're getting bogged down in description or you know, any, any of those things, you, you, too much is going on, you break it up with some dialogue, uh, maybe some humor, maybe some drama, whatever, what have you, you know, to counteract everything else that's going on and just kind of ease people through the movie into the next scene. I, I'm shocked that this this movie is is as good as it is without much much dialogue at all. I want to say no dialogue because even the dialogue that's in there is so it's it's two words. One character says two words, and the other character repeats those two words, and that's it. Uh, the most striking, the most maybe maybe even the most upsetting part of this movie is at the police station. Um, the director said in the interview that he had gotten all the way up to that point and he went to write dialogue for that scene and that's when it clicked with him that there should be no dialogue. And because there is no dialogue, it makes the actors perform their asses off because they can't fall back on dialogue, they can't fall back on verbal communication. So everything is body language and it just hits so much harder because of that. Not a single word spoken and things like no words need to be said a uh, picture's worth a thousand words all all that cliched shit really comes re really really makes this movie work man um but yeah there's aliens it is a very simple setup uh it was very cool to see Bryn fight back right at the beginning uh and what happened after that and it just kept escalating and escalating and escalating this is definitely a hidden gem if you have not seen it i believe it's on hulu if it is not on hulu even if you have to rent it pay for it i highly suggest that you do because not only is it a fantastically shot movie acted all that stuff is off the charts. Characters, pacing, dread, all of that stuff is off the charts with no dialogue. It is also a very entertaining movie that doesn't have any downtime. Well, very little downtime uh, for emotional scenes like the, the dialogue that is spoken and the scene at the police station. But other than that, it is balls to the wall. If you are a fan of movies uh, or uh, literature like uh, Invasion of the Body Snatchers, uh, even movies like Mars Attacks, not Mars Attacks. There's another one, Invasion, 
Invaders from Mars, something like that. I can't remember where they put the little spike in the back of people's heads. I can never remember the mo the name of that movie. But if you're a fan of movies like that, you're going to absolutely love this one. Uh, the actress who played Bryn kills it throughout. Uh, in fact, the director said, you know, I had such a great actress, you know, that she didn't have to say anything. And she didn't. Which brings me back to my one criticism. I don't even think we needed the, those lines of dialogue. But I could be wrong. If you've watched it and, and you think the lines are perfect or unnecessary or whatever, I'd love to hear your opinion on that. But until next time, I have been E. You have been you. This has been another episode of 31 Days of Halloween. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.